where you turn, you find motivation. Exactly. My chat with Frank O'Day took place, where else, but in a downtown Second Cup. How do you feel when you walk into a Second Cup these days? Well, there's a founder's feeling always, you know, it's, it's great to see. O'Day grew up in Montreal. As a teenager, he told his mother where his life would go. I said to her, when I, I remember, I'm 13, when I'm 35, I will have a million dollars. Now, I didn't know what 35 was, and I certainly didn't know what a million dollars was, but it seemed like the right number. When I was 34, I was broke, and when I was 35, I had a million dollars. But after that declaration to his mother, O'Day's life took a devastating turn. He was sexually abused as a teen and ended up an alcoholic and homeless in Toronto. Take me back to when you were living on the streets and yep. spending a lot of time here uh, on Jarvis. What was the predominant thought in your mind from one day to the next? I get a drink. But one day, near Christmas in 1971, it all changed. I was self-destructing as I went my, worked my way to Skid Row. I was just self-destructing. Thank God I changed at that one moment in time on December 23rd, 1971. I could see that I could go no further. It felt to me either I should die or change. And suicide was a constant thought. It was a radio ad offering help to alcoholics that he heard on that December day. He panhandled for a dime to make that call for help. Lots of people went by, nobody gave me a nickel, nobody gave me any money. Then suddenly this guy out of nowhere comes along and puts a dime in my hand and walks out of my life. In and out in a millisecond. And on that dime, I changed my life. I made a phone call, I never had another drink. Little does he know that act of kindness had such a huge impact on somebody else. After a few years of sobriety, Frank met Tom Culligan, a successful businessman. Together, they started the coffee chain, The Second Cup, and started a business empire that would make him millions. Frank O'Day. But he always felt a strong pull to help others the way others helped him. In 2004, he was made an officer of the Order of Canada for all his philanthropic work, including founding charities such as Street Kids International and the Canadian Landmine Foundation that has raised millions of dollars to help clear the world of landmines. Acts of goodwill. You have no idea what the ripple effect of all that is. It goes on and on and on. So that has helped change my life and made a difference to me. So I try and do that myself. He now lives guided by three words, hope, vision and action. And it all started with that radio ad back in December 1971. Call us in the book gave me a little bit of hope that allowed me for to have a vision and the action was to make a phone call. So hope, vision, action was what created it. So, so that little commercial made all the difference. I think about that dime today. And to this day, O'Day continues to tell his story to groups of all ages, hoping to inspire even one person. I'm an optimist and I, and I love possibilities and potential and, uh, and so I tend to chase them. And, I, and often to my own folly, I've, I've had lots of failures, uh, but I've had lots of successes, so it's fun. And he's showing no signs of slowing down. In fact, he's just launched a new tech business, employing teens to digitize hard copies for companies. But in true O'Day fashion, it isn't just about making money, it's about giving young people jobs. We pay the minimum wage, plus $2 an hour. The $2 an hour goes into an education fund. So when they come out of high school, they can go to university. With so much on the go, O'Day couldn't do it without one main anchor in his life. I like to go home and be home with my family. I like to spend time. I, I love these new ideas and I love, I love the old ones. You know, Street Kids International still exists. It's many, many years after I left the board, it still exists. So it wasn't about me. It's so beautiful that these things are able to continue way beyond the founder.